previously on The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! Put your hands up and close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh, shit! Kate! Javi, don't! Hey. What do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? <laughs> Holy shit! What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. I hate being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day for food and water and gas for the stove. Oh, am I babbling? I babble when I'm scared. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I know. It's just hard to get used to, that's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There it is! Let's take it and go. Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Hey, 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 don't beat yourself up about it. It was worth a shot. It just didn't work out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. I just thought this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break. Friends. 
true. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. Cape worshipped him. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's just... one of those things. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead... <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. When it was on you? Oh my god. We should, uh, really get back inside. Yeah. Okay. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there for an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. Somewhere not so isolated. What makes you think it's going to be better anywhere else? Everything and everyone outside this door is dead. Exactly. How long until one of those things gets in? We stay. Somebody's going to get hurt. Or worse. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cabe. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can... Find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We need to find somewhere with more people around. People who are still alive. People who don't mind sharing their supplies. We have our own supplies. Not enough. Not anymore. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. We have to look out for ourselves now, Gabe. I wish things were different, but our safety is more important. But we're safe here! No, we're not. I'm sorry, Gabe, but Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe, honey... What? What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? Nothing's wrong with her. She's just a, a little shook up. That's all. We can't lie to him, Javi. He needs to know. Will you guys just tell me what's going on? Your friend, Drew, from down the street? He... He didn't make it. He... he turned into one of them. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we gonna tell him? I want to say something good. Something that won't make him sad. Just tell him we love him. All of us. And nothing's gonna change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really.
Dad? Javi! Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. Never really thought it happened. Not after all this time. I can't fucking believe this. It's... I mean, it's you. Couldn't have said it better myself. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. We got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Javi. For getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked! This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No! I didn't say that! Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. It's how we keep it safe for everyone. Don't you get it? I'm David's brother. I'm going to the hospital with them. We have procedures here. Procedures that have to be followed. Even if you are related to David. Ah, this is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. Hey! David! Let's go. Trip. Oh, God! Eleanor! When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. They definitely didn't look for her. Because she was still in the car. But that's crazy! I told them she was dying! And clearly it wasn't a priority. Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. They're New Frontier. Oh my god. Oh, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but... He did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. I just didn't think she had a husband out there, is all. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it, that shit can't stand. That's one hell of an accusation. 
saying he had his own family shot? You really believe he'd do something like that? After seeing how he was with Kate? Could be he was just putting on a show for us. That's crazy. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there. At least at first. If you want to hear me say he's an asshole, fine. He's the biggest asshole I know. Question is, is he a big enough asshole to go along with some of the shit they've done? If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. That in order, David? Fucking with me already, huh? Some things never change. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip. Just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. Go along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I... wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. How... How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? 
an animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Bastards knocked me out and threw me in their truck. I got away near this town, Prescott. The same assholes attacked us there. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. You wouldn't let that happen, would you? We only just got here. It's not just up to me. I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <sighs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. Or at least the closest thing to it these days. My brother talked about me. All the time, at the start. All good, I hope. I think you know the answer to that. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house. At the start. I'm sorry I never found you. It doesn't matter now. We found each other in the end. It matters to me. Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi! Noodles in a cup! We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> get off me! <laughs> Come on, Jack! You know me. I'm always okay. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. Gross. I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Doesn't make it not true. What, you okay? Oh, 
shit. I'll get the dock. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die. Everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? David threw his own brother in a cell. What about Gabe? He seems pretty happy to see his dad. Gabe will do what we say. We've been taking care of him. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. It's going to get bad if we stay. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. Whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Doesn't seem normal. What are you trying to say? I'm worried about her. That's all. Nothing to get worked up about. It's nothing to be alarmed about. Pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a group with a medic, Eleanor, just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way. But we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden, or a baked delicacy by yours truly. Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. 
You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us, and Dr. Lingard, make all the decisions here, so, yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. No offense, but what qualifies you to lead? Testing us already? Just curious who's leading the troops into battle. Everything you see, we built ourselves. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim. One worth fighting for. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. If I were you, I'd get him away from me before I do something I regret. Javi, be cool. Try it and see what happens, boy. I was willing to let bygones be. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That... that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? A girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Let's judge you then. You got some colorful friends. So what if Javi met up with Clementine? It doesn't mean anything. We kicked her out for a reason, David. Now the two of them are thick as thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Javi? You have something to say? One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. 
He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No. We need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They killed a hostage in cold blood. A woman, Francine. Badger did that. Not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. Cut off her damn finger first. Max! I tried to stop him, I swear. He was out of control. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here, your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. This is ridiculous. You have to do something. I... I can't right now. But maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said- Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't gonna help Eleanor. Don't make it worse for her. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Everything was going okay. At first. I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. There. The end of the Little Dipper. No. That's the Big Dipper. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. 
Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. It's too much. Knock that shit off, Trip. You're better than that. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. I gotta tell you, man, I thought you and Kate were, you know, I wouldn't have guessed she was married to not you. I ain't judging, mind you, I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but what have we got to lose out here? She's my brother's wife. She's family. End of story. When it comes to these kind of things, the story never really ends. Not for everyone, at least. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out, boom, your heart goes ass over tea kettle. I don't know. I think it's as complicated as you let it be. Difference between you and me, brother. I know Eleanor told you that she and I were... whatever we were, but that's over now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Alive, people. I got Come on, man, move your ass. You want a piece of this?
You should be more careful with this. We're even now. I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. Not all of us. Kate and Gabe are still there. With David. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait. This place we're going? David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again. But I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. Dave and I were in this unit together back in the army, and uh, believe we're it or gonna not, we're going to give you the medicine you need, AJ. I don't care what they say. Here it is. It would have to be a shot. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? I'm... I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin. That's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you. It could save someone's life if used right. It's too valuable to throw away. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. There's still time. I have to try. Come on, goofball. I need you to be brave for me now, okay? Shh, shh. See? It's not so bad. <coughs> AJ, shh. What the hell is this? I told her it was a bad idea. <laughs> 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 
Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? I had nothing left to lose. AJ was gonna die if I didn't. He's gonna die anyway. That waste? That'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more? I wish I could tell you it would save him. But that's the reality. That's more than you did, any of you. That's not fair. You ungrateful little shit! We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. You've made that pretty damn obvious. I made the right call. One you refused to make. Well, I'm making one now. Get your shit and get out. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. Get out of my fucking way. Right now. Clem. He's in no condition to travel. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. Please don't make me regret this. <laughs> really, Clem? <laughs> You're a piece of work, you know that? You deserve everything you get. I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. I can't believe David would be so... heartless. My little goofball. That's what I get for trusting other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. Too many of them push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Locked! Shit! Look for another way in! It's our only chance! Go, man! This thing ain't as strong as we thought! Hurry it up! Well, there's a car. With no wheels.
Here they come. I can... Uh, fuck! I can raise it a little, but... I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Close. Hopefully that door holds him. Hey, I'm here! David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in! <gasps> Don't make me do this! Clem. Don't do it, Javi! He'll die. He deserves worse. He has a son, Clem. Just like you did. The fuck? Open it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. She's with me. I owe her my life. She told us some pretty rancid stuff about you, man. What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. To anybody, huh? You broke the rules for Kate and Gabe. And I'll accept the consequences. Unlike her. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying, Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. I don't know, Clem. I don't think he'd lie about this. You don't know him like I do. Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store a vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? 
and say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. <laughs> Shit! Ward it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me! Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. This could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Who the fuck are you? Wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't gone all trigger happy on David's family. Take over. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're frickin' rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. David? I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... <laughs> He's getting away! Go! Get Badger! Shove that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do.
fucking Garcias. Oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. Um, um, fuck. Oh, you messed me up good. You brought this on yourself, Badger. You had it coming a long time. Bring it then. See if I can... See if I give a shit. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. No. Let's let him turn. It's only right. He's all yours. Stop! Please! Raiding, looting, you betrayed who we are! You betrayed Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond! What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I ain't got nothing to say! Start talking, or I promise you, you're gonna scream. Okay, okay, take it easy. I'm waiting. Come on, man. It wasn't like we were doing this by ourselves. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... She said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please! Don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan... Wasn't there one more? Won't be hurting anyone else. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm not holding out much hope. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You're a good guy, Jesus. That's rare. I could say the same about you. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Hey, you said it yourself. It's only as messy as you let it be. Time to straighten things out. We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Fine, but I expect first-class treatment when we're done. No more quarantine for me or my friends. Just the red fucking carpet. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's just get this done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on, we gotta get on the move. 
Hertz closing in. Thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. Give me a little credit, Clem. I can handle David. I really hope you're right. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical Javi's center. Gonna go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, there. we get out. Right. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. Here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? What the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Still got it. Find Elle. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Super worried. Like, a lot. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Javi! Where is he? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? 
David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. I got a bad feeling from her. Joan's a shrewd operator. You can't believe a word she says. That doesn't exactly put me at ease. It shouldn't. The thugs who shot you, answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. What? W what do you mean? It's David's fight, Kate. And we're in it with him. He needs our help. Kate, come You're on. You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Don't. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. We ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but... I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's alright. Just know that if we do run into her, she's not a big fan of your dad. Why not? You should ask her. Or maybe both of them. We need to go. Okay? Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. He gets to live life on the front line. I'm sure it's like Christmas every morning. He definitely could get pretty warlike from time to time. My jaw still aches occasionally. No, I'll bet it does. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here, don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better.
I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. Wouldn't miss it. Now let's see some fireworks. What's going on here? We're just getting started. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. You don't deserve respect. Not after the things you've done. What things? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Raiding? Joan, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? Don't be afraid of her, Max. We've got your back. Me, Badger, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. It wasn't easy. But someone had to do it. If you had such good reasons, why keep it a secret? I took the hard decisions on myself. All of you remember the winter. How much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close. So close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. She's fucking delusional. Building a dream on the blood of innocence. You don't have to tell me, brother. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids, too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them! What the hell?! Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me. That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here. You put yourself before the group. You won't get away with this, Joan. All of this will come back on you eventually. Paul, come on! I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. 